Uh, Tell us about some of the, some of the other ways that you can get to multiverse theories. Right. Well, a another simple one is one that comes out of thinking very carefully about the Big Bang. So again, we touched on the Big Bang earlier, which is this idea that the universe underwent this rapid expansion early on. But one of the things that perhaps we don't emphasize enough when talking in general context is that the Big Bang theory actually leaves out something pretty important, which is the bang. The Big Bang Theory tells us how the universe evolved from a split second after whatever started the outward swelling to happen in the first place, but it doesn't tell us what caused that swelling to actually occur. Now, people have been working very hard to fill in this gap, and the reason I bring this particular gap up is because there is a proposal now for what caused the outward swelling. It's called inflationary cosmology. It's basically the recognition that goes back to Einstein that gravity on certain circumstances can be repulsive. We're used to gravity being attractive. You drop the glass, it falls because the earth attracts it. You drop the ball, it falls, again, because the earth pulls things together. That's what gravity does. But actually, Einstein showed, surprisingly, that under exotic circumstances, gravity can actually push things apart. The belief is that, the possibility is that in the early universe, that exotic environment was realized. There was an energy suffusing space that gave rise to repulsive gravity that pushed everything apart. That's why the universe started swelling in the first place. The thing is, when you study this theory in detail, it seems to show that this outward swelling would not have been a unique one-time event. It says that there could be many of these big bang-like beginnings at various and distinct locations in a much larger cosmos, each giving rise to a swelling realm, each giving rise to an observable universe, and a universe that people like us could inhabit, but there could be universes upon universes upon universe. This is the inflationary multiverse. And the nice thing about this approach is that the idea that space underwent this rapid swelling early on from this repulsive gravity that has been subjected to some very interesting observational tests. If the universe went through this rapid swelling early on, here's what would happen. Little tiny quantum jitters, quantum fluctuations in the young universe would be stretched out by the rapid swelling and smeared out across the sky. An analogy is if I had a, a little balloon with a fine tip pen, imagine I wrote a little message on the surface of the balloon. You couldn't actually see it, it's too small. If I blow air into the balloon, as the balloon stretches, my message gets smeared out across the surface of the balloon. Now you can see it. Now the tiny quantum jitters in the early universe may behave similarly. They're like the little message. And as space underwent this rapid expansion, that message gets smeared out across the sky as tiny temperature differences in the heat left over from the Big Bang. It's called the cosmic microwave background radiation. And we have measured this heat left over from the Big Bang. And the way the temperature varies from point to point is exactly in line with the mathematical calculations. But does and that, that is a very convincing piece of evidence for at least taking this theory quite seriously. I think